Hello everybody, we got some new sales for this week, so stay tuned. Never took a left. Aww, oh, that car was a jack of you. Oh god, oh my god. Oh my god. Ew, this looks terrible. All right, today, Tuesday, May 11th, we've got some pretty good sales. Uh, it did pretty well last night. One thing I do want to talk about real quickly, though, uh, coming up probably on tomorrow's video, don't quote me on that, but I think I'm going to publish it on Saturday, is our 700 subscriber giveaway. We did reach 700 yesterday, so thank you guys so much for that. Really appreciate it. It really touches me that you guys enjoy what we do here, so thank you so much. Um, and now... Enough of the soft stuff. Let's get into why you're really here. What sold today? Well, yesterday into today. First thing up is this Eddie Bauer jacket. This is a Eddie Bauer kind of a rain jacket. It's sort of light, got a hood on it. New with tags. There's a tag somewhere. There it is, down here in the corner. Uh, brand new with the tags. Sold for nineteen dollars plus shipping. You guys remember that disgusting, disgusting we? <laughs> well, guess what? It's sold. Here it is. The, I, I'm not even going to take it out of the box. So I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Actually, it's clean. We cleaned it as best we could. It didn't do much for it, but at least it's not sticky anymore. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, the Wii did sell $75 plus shipping for the Wii. So still had some value. I mean, and it works. It, it works just fine. If you're going to replace the back of those controllers, everything else is just cosmetic, really. So, um, yeah. Sold $75 plus shipping, pure profit for that whole um, auction that you saw us pick up all that stuff. The Wii and then the other video games um, sold as well. <clears throat> so, how great is that? Next up is this. These are J. Crew men's shorts, and they are sharp. Check those out. That is a. Those are golf shorts if I ever see it. Brand new with the tag. Um, men's size 32, sold for $27 plus shipping. Next up, sold some underpants. Right here. These are men's extra large uh, 40 to 42 white cotton briefs. Mm. <laughs> um, these, I, so used to be that these were actually a pretty good sellers. Um, they are not anymore. And I guess Hanes sells some of their products direct on eBay and they're cheaper than most people. So um, if you see these out there now, if they're vintage, you want to get them. But if they're not vintage, like these ones are, you're probably going to want to pass because um, there's two... So, a little bit of a story here for you because I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. This is just a regular pack of them. Um, there is another pack that looks like this that has two extras in it. and it's So, it's bigger and it weighs more. That pack, you definitely are going to want to steer clear of. Unless you get it for like super, super cheap and you don't mind making only a couple dollars on it. So, we had... A pack of those that had the two extra briefs in it and it's just over a pound and you can't sell them for anything more than $15 because like I said Hanes is selling them direct through eBay for $14.99 free shipping or something like that so you got to sell them for like $13 or $12 to compete and then you're spending $7.62 $7 to ship it out so you're making next to nothing now this pack I have high hopes. I, I weighed it yesterday. It's just under a pound. So if I throw it in a poly mailer, it should be going first class. So we're still going to make a couple bucks, but still, it, you know, unless you're getting bulk or something where, you know, you're okay making two or three dollars each time one of these sells, it's probably not worth grabbing them anymore. So unless they're vintage, like I said, Hanes, underwear, $10 free shipping. Next up, that little surprise. Where'd it go? It was right here. Up oh, there it is. Um, the little surprise from that auction, the Spongebob Squarepants GameCube game sold. Um, this is Spongebob Squarepants Lights Camera Pants. <laughs> what else would it be? Uh, Nintendo GameCube from 2005 with the manual sold for $11. Free shipping. Not a big money maker as far as GameCube games go, but man, GameCube games go quick. They don't sit around for very long. Next up, 
Yeah, they keep losing things here today. Next up is this. Uh, this is, we've gotten offers, tons of offers on this and nobody ever bought it. It's an Eddie Bauer um, duffel bag and it's it crunches up and goes in this little sack here. Uh, brand new with the tags. It was $29.99 brand new. So we listed it for 20 bucks and we got a bunch of like real super low ball offers like $10, $5, $6 and it was just like, no. Finally, someone made us a reasonable offer, $18. Plus shipping and it looks like it will go first class it's light enough that it uh, should go first class so um, should make a decent amount of money there Eddie Power duffel bag next up is a record this is uh, the escape club wild wild west probably gonna need you guys on this one because I have never heard of these people uh, I'm sure it's a ska of some sort there's a there's a, a gentleman that watches our channel that loves the ska and he's really good with every other uh, piece of music. So, uh, William, if you're out there, I don't know who these guys are, so let me know. Um, sold for five dollars plus shipping. Next up, we got some Adidas shorts. So these are three quarter length Adidas shorts. Um, they they're like uh, I think there's an extra layer to these. Oh no, it's kind of fake. Um, so three quarter length Adidas shorts, new with the tags, um, size large, men's size large, sold for $17 plus shipping. We got this vintage American Eagle Outfitters green orange hoodie size double X. Um, this was a bins find right here. Uh, got the hoodie, uh, no strings, but just the hoodie, uh, size double X sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. So anytime you can buy something for a dollar and turn it into $10, we are happy. Next up, some Puma dry cell shorts, men's size medium, uh, black and orange. Puma, uh, Puma makes some good stuff, but it doesn't sell as well as Nike, Adidas, or Under Armour. We have a lot of it, um, and we sell through it. I mean, but it uh, it takes a little while. Uh, Nine dollars plus shipping for the Pumas. Uh, they were did not have a tag on them, so they're not new with tags. Got some more Levi's, finally. Um, got a little bit of a replenish over the weekend with the the bins um 517 levi's size 3830 um medium wash jeans sold for 14 dollars plus shipping just take a quick break here i want to address something um uh, we've gotten a few comments about why we've uh, not bought so many jeans and um and you know how are we making money on jeans because people you know the the profit margins have shifted quite a bit in the jeans and that is very accurate if you've noticed month couple months ago we were buying lots of jeans from uh thrift stores like lots of jeans and we were selling them pretty frequently um we tried our best to pay no more than three dollars for them. now granted there were ones that were special or vintage or something and we'd pay up for them or new or in really good shape sometimes we would just splurge a little and pay up for them a little bit there um, but we haven't been lately and a few people have commented and reached out to us privately and said, you know, you guys aren't really buying much jeans anymore. Is there a reason? And there is a reason. And the reason is, um, the thrift stores around here have caught on <laughs> and they are not letting their Levi's go for cheap anymore. Um, we very seldom can find jeans at our regular thrift stores for anything under $6. Um, so they're pricing them at $12, they go 50% off, and we can find them for $6. And that's just not enough for us anymore, because we're selling them between $15 uh, and $19, maybe $20 on a good day. Um, so they're just not, they're not, uh, the profit margins have gotten a little slim. Now, if we go to the bins and we find them like this pair that we just sold, um, then we're grabbing them, because we're paying 2 or $3 there. So they're, you know, selling this for $14. There's still a decent amount of money there for us, but not like they were and so and it's because the thrift stores caught on and it's probably my fault because i publish videos on the internet and people see them and they go well we're gonna we're gonna jack the jean prices up but they'll level back off again someday so moving right along next up uh you know what before we move along um comment down below let me know if you guys have found that to be true where you've had a product that you really had a easy time sourcing and then all of a sudden the thrift stores caught on and they went Phew. or is it just me because i publish videos on the internet like a moron and then the thrift stores catch on and they start jacking their prices up let me know comment down below next up we got uh, some nike dry fit these were another bins find uh women's running shorts uh women's size medium in green and purple um this looks like yellow and purple to me but i guess it's kind of greenish um sold for six dollars plus shipping 
next up, this is a weird one. Um, but uh, we found these down in our basement and decided, you know what, maybe someone will want them. So we'll list them on uh, eBay. And these are just soft scrub um, gloves. Uh, they are textured yellow gloves, two pairs of them, uh, new in the package. They're larges, I guess. Yeah, large. They're right there at the top, large. Uh, six or eight dollars, free shipping, please. And last for today, another vintage Abercrombie shirt, muscle shirt. That's right. I'm sorry, I forgot. They are muscle shirts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just find that so funny that they put that on the tag that they're muscle shirts. Uh, vintage Abercrombie and Fitch muscle shirt, men's size, medium, sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Hello. Is it Wednesday already? <laughs> Doesn't feel like a Wednesday. Mainly because Wednesdays have been crap lately. But today was off the chain. So, I don't know. I'm happy about it. Anyways, we got some sales. We got 22 sales today. Oh, I'm sorry. I always miscount with you guys. 20 sales today. I don't know where I got 22 from. Anyways, um... We got some sales, so we're going to get into them right now, starting off with this. These are bullhead um, pants. They are um, slack, skinny bullhead pants, size 33, I'm sorry, 32, 32. How's that for symmetry? Uh, from PacSun, brand new with the tags. Um, these sold for $18, plus shipping. Next up, this is a Silver Surfer Volume 4, Citizens of Earth. Um, this is a paperback. Uh, we bought a whole bunch of these, um, almost a whole case of them actually. And, uh, we've only got one more available. This was a pretty good seller. Sold for, uh, $10 and 89 cents. <laughs> Took an offer plus shipping. Sorry. Free shipping on the suit. Silver suit. All right. Next we've got two pairs of camo pants going out to one buyer. These are, uh, empire 99 pants camo pants. Um, they're brand new, but they just don't have tags on them. Uh, $18.50 for this pair. And then the darker pair, uh, actually is new with the tag on them. Um, sold for $18 plus shipping. Um, we made a deal for both of them, uh, because they're going to the same place. So easier to ship. All right. Next up is this. These are Max Maximilian New York jeans, distressed blue jeans. These have been with us for a while. Size 36, 32. Um, these we got at a thrift store back in the day when prices were low on jeans. Um, they are designer jeans and they actually have a back, double back pocket and so forth. Um, just really weren't a big seller for us. So if you guys see these out here, you probably could skip them. Um, they did fetch a decent dollar, but nothing too crazy. $17.50 plus, or I'm sorry, free shipping. So going to end up being right around $10 for both uh, when it's all said and done. So. Next up, we keep telling you Lufkin sells. This is a Lufkin. There it is. If my camera would focus, that would be helpful. There we go. Lufkin. Um, this is a micrometer. L or, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, micrometer. Depth gauge. Um, with case, USA made. Trying to get this thing open for you so you can see it. There it is. Right there. Um... So, vintage tool, made in the USA, $37 plus shipping. Next up, another pair of jeans that's been with us forever. These are Ralph Lauren jeans. There's a tag right there. Kind of a weird tag. Um, I believe they're older. Uh, Ralph Lauren's women's jeans, size 8. They're kind of flared jeans. Uh, $10 plus shipping. Next up, every time I see this book, I always think of uh, John Lennon's assassination. This is catcher in the rye um if you don't know it the guy who shot john lennon was really obsessed with this book in fact after he shot john lennon he merely just sat down on the curb started reading this book um vintage copy of it from uh jd salinger sold for three dollars and fifty cents plus shipping next up is behind me I'm waiting for this to sell i know people like these a lot this is an under armor hoodie um, maybe the warm weather kept it from, uh, you know, really going. This is a storm and winter, uh, hoodie. I have a few of these and they work really well. They're kind of, uh, they're soft fabric, so they're not stiff, but, uh, rain just kind of repels off of them. It's really cool. Um, 
Uh, brand new with the tag, sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Like I said, we've had this for longer than I thought it would last. And uh, I don't know why nobody bought it until now. Maybe the warmer weather. Next up, more garbage pail kids. This is a lot of um, 58 garbage pail kits. There's the front one right there. So there's the rest of them. Uh, these are from 2016, so they're a lot newer. Uh, $20 plus shipping for these. More jeans, American Eagle 380 Super Stretch. That's what these are right here. Um, these are women's jeans, size 6, sold for $15 plus shipping. Bins find from a couple weeks ago, actually. Next up, you got some Adidas pants. Navy blue Adidas pants right here. Um, these are men's size medium. They are new with the tag right here. Um, these sold for $22 plus shipping. For some reason, we've been selling a lot of this stuff um, overseas. So UK and Australia have been buying a lot of this um, Adidas merchandise from us. And uh, some of the Puma stuff, Nike, it's all going right overseas. So We're not complaining. Next up, more Adidas. This is a... Oh, not that. This is an Adidas... Uh, it looks like a soccer jersey almost. Um, new with the tags, shirt... Um, size, men's size, medium, sold for $11, plus shipping. Right behind it, we got some pillow shams here. Oh, pillow shams? Um, not new. We found them at the bins. Um, these are pillow shams. They are a set of three quilted cream teal pillow shams. Wedding ring pattern. Okay. <laughs> these sold for uh, $10, plus shipping. Next up. Whoa. Things are going crazy around here. Next up, a pair of tights. These are Nike Pro tights. They are kind of a reddish color. Uh, men's size large, new with the tag. Uh, sold for $13 plus shipping. These sat for a little longer than I thought they would too. I think the color, people don't really like working out in this color. Um, next up, some Under Armour. Uh, gym pants. I don't think these are new. Nope, no tag on these. Um, these are Under Armour gym pants. Uh, they have zip pockets, which people seem to really like. Um, they're kind of like a windbreaker style material, so they're not, they're really light. Uh, men's size large, sold for $16 plus shipping. Next up, you saw us get this uh, on Monday's video. These are those golden books. Um, Winnie the Pooh, Chip and Dale. Uh, we got Milan. What else we got? Pocahontas. Um, it's a lot of nine of them. Sold for six dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. Next up, we got a sticker book. This is Odd Dot Outdoor Stickers. Um, sold one of these last what sold video. Um, just stickers of plants and such. Uh, sold for eight dollars and fifty cents. This is actually our last one plus shipping. Sorry. Free shipping on the sticker book. I think I did that last time too. Next up, some more books. We sold pants and books today and one hoodie. Um, this is Goosebumps Slappy World. Slappy World? Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, new in the package, a lot of all these books of Slappy's World. Uh, it's just a funny name. It's just, I'm going to get the giggles from it because Slappy World. Like, what is he? Does he go around just slapping people or something? It's just, I mean, it's kind of creepy, but whatever. Uh, we got this at uh, Ollie's Bargain Outlet. I think we paid like eight bucks for it. $17.50 plus shipping. Hello. It's Thursday. Getting closer to the weekend. Yay. Today's Thursday, May 13th, and Thursdays have been garbage, and <laughs> today was pretty good, so we're not complaining. Business seems to be uh, on a little bit of an upswing this week, so pretty happy about that. Got some sales, so we're going to get into them right now, starting with this behind me. This is a Men's Painted Trail Keeker Gray and Black Orange <laughs> Jacket. It's a Nike jacket that has this pattern on it. Um... It's, I believe it's brand new with the tags. Is it new with the tags? No, no tag on it. But uh, yeah, just a Nike light jacket. This cool little pattern. Men's size medium, sold for $45 plus shipping. These are worth some money. Um, you can find them new. 
or even used. They're worth quite a bit of money. Sold uh, more 200 piece ink tags that uh, everybody by now probably has a pretty good idea. Actually, you know what? There's been a lot of new subscribers, so well, let me show them to you. Uh, we've got a little bin of them here, and I'll just go over it since there's some new folk out there watching this. Uh, so a couple months back, I bought 10,000 of these little guys. They are ink tags. Uh, they're the ink tags that just kind of go on clothing. No removers. We're not allowed to sell the removers, eBay. Uh, put a kibosh on that right away when we tried to sell them. So just the tags. There's a set of 200 of them uh, selling them for $22 free shipping. Next up, this is a cat versus pickles. <laughs> yeah. Cats versus pickles. Right there. It's like a, I don't know, like a beanie baby type thing, but it's just a, it's a cat. This is the angel cat. <laughs> uh, this is number 111. $9.75 free shipping. Next up are these. These are Under Armour Heat Gear uh, compression leggings, size medium. Uh, they're three quarter length compression leggings sold for $17 plus shipping. Next up, finally, it took a while for this to get going, but these did sell. Uh, these are spring made, no iron. I don't know a single person that irons their bed sheets, but apparently they made no iron bed sheets. So no iron flat sheet. These are very groovy seventies pattern right here. This reminds me of kind of a tablecloth that you would use for your barbecue, but um, they call it a green basket weave new in the package from the 1960s and or seventies made in the USA sold for $18 plus shipping. Next up, we got a book. This is the guidebook to historic places in Western Pennsylvania. Pretty cool. There it is right there. Um, from 1938. So some of these historic places probably aren't around anymore, but $12 and 50 cents for this. We got this, um, at uh, the auction. Uh, last week, so didn't pay much for these. Maybe a buck. Uh, $12.50 plus shipping. Next up, we got a women's shirt. Uh, what Sarah found this is at the bins. This is a blue 84. Um, burnout v neck t shirt. Glacier National Park scenery. That right there. Um, sold for $7 plus shipping. Had some good luck selling bin stuff. In fact, a lot of this stuff today is from the bins. Not this, though. This is uh, uh, the Epic of Man book. Like another auction find. So a couple bucks into this Epic of Man um, from Time Life. This is from 1962. Sold for $5 plus shipping. Next up, we got some sweatpants. Um, these are wrist sweatpants by Adidas. Um, these sold for four dollars plus shipping. Uh, retail on these only about seven bucks. So um, they're normally when we get them, we get them real cheap. So four dollars plus shipping, not bad. Next up, we sold some corks. Yeah, you heard that correctly. We sold a bag of corks, wine corks. People use these for uh, crafts and such. So got a lot of got some wine drinkers out there. Save your corks and sell them on eBay because you can make money off of them. Uh, this bag of corks sold for eleven dollars. Free shipping. So, you know, when you're having a bottle at night, just throw that cork right in the bag. Sell them on eBay. That was a lot of 75 corks. I couldn't tell you how much we paid for them all because I'd have to calculate every bottle of wine that was drank to get all those corks. <laughs> Probably be more than $11. But it's better than just throwing them in the trash. Next up, we got this. Um, I heard that Air, old airplane memorabilia stuff sells, and I didn't believe it until we bought this. Uh, this is a U.S. Airways sweatshirt from the night, probably from the 1970s or 80s. It's a Lee, uh, is the tag. So decent tag too, um, with the U.S. Airways old logo on it. Um, made in the USA, men's size large, sold for $21.50. Bins find, $21.50 plus shipping. So if it's bins find couple bucks at most maybe two bucks all right next up is this these are uh sarah's uh unwanted clothes again these are democracy jeans size 16 um these are stretchy jeans um new with the tags obviously still in the package didn't even want to take them out of the package this time 
$22 plus shipping. Next up is this, another Ben's Fine Market and Spruce Women's Navy and White Stripe Cardigan. Let's see if I can, yeah, there we go. Uh, size double X or two X right here. Pretty nice, very soft. I could sleep on this. Uh, $15 for this, plus shipping. Another Ben's Fine, a couple bucks into 15 bucks. This has been with us forever. This is a uh, Michigan State t-shirt. Uh, when we first started in e uh, selling things on eBay, we bought a lot of t-shirts, and this was one of them. Um, this is a men's size large college t-shirt, $3.50. Uh, we just needed it to get out of here. It's been with us for probably close to a year now. Um, next up is this. This is a vintage 1960-61 directory, Pittsburgh Northside, uh, from their Chamber of Commerce. So, the Northside story. That's what it says right there. Um, obviously, it's in the north side of Pittsburgh. It's actually just across the Allegheny River. Um, if you've ever seen our stadiums on television, uh, Heinz Field and or PNC Park, uh, that's pit the north side right here. So, uh, sold for $8 plus ship. Again, another uh, auction find. So, dollar or two into that. Next up is this. This is a tank top, an L, sleeveless floral, keyhole size, uh, Sorry, women's size, large tank top. This, uh, another bin's fine, so a couple bucks. $8 plus shipping. We had a buyer buy a couple different Nike things from us. First is this. I've been waiting for this thing to sell. Uh, it's a really cool shirt. It's a Nike shirt, uh, yellow and black Nike Pro. So the expensive stuff, I believe this is, yeah, $65 retail for this shirt. Uh, bought that, and then bought this Thermacore uh, Polyfill Vest. This is a running vest, uh, men's size medium as well. Oh, I'm sorry, the shirt was large. This is a size medium. $65 for both of these, plus shipping. Next up, this is that tank top. <laughs> I told you, there's a lot of bins. This is that tank top that Sarah found at that uh, the last bins trip Thursday's video. Um, this is a Broken Threads Extra Large Tank Top, sold for five bucks, plus shipping. Tank tops don't go for a lot, but they also don't cost a lot to ship, so I uh, got that going for you. And last for today, some American Eagle Outfitter Stretch Jeans, size six, the patch is a little worn. Um, didn't get a lot of money for these, nine bucks, plus shipping, they are kind of worn out. Um, the jeans themselves are in good shape, just some of the, the uh, like that, and... Um, Actually, everything else looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, yeah, $9 plus shipping. They're very small and will ship out fairly easily. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today's Friday, May 14th. Happy Friday. Yay! Uh, we got pretty good sales. Friday's Last Friday was crap, and today's been pretty good. So, um, we sold a lot of weird stuff. Now that eBay seems to be requiring all these, like, weird specifics that we have to change, it seems like all the old stuff is kind of filtering back through and getting maybe moved up to the top. So we're selling some things that we've had for a while, like this. Uh, we sold two of these Eagle Claw, uh, these are, I guess, hooks. Um, yeah, Snelled Fish Hooks is what they're called. Uh, five bucks for these, but still, we've had these for a while and they sold. So, um, sold some jeans also. Um, these were... Uh, Levi's 540. They're vintage jeans. 4432. Weird looking patch, too. Um, took me a while to kind of authenticate these because uh, I've never seen that patch before, but it's a, one of the original, um, original vintage jeans made in Mexico, so they had a few with these patches on it. Um, size 4432, we didn't make a lot of money on these. This was, um, if you remember, we went to a Salvation Army in town and found these, and they were asking $10 for them. So, only sold them for 19 at the end of the day, plus shipping. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Next up, uh, a Marvin Gaye shirt. This is a Marvin Gaye, uh, shirt from 2004. The tag is Zion. Um, not a bad tag. It's not an old um, shirt, but a nice shirt. $15 for this, plus shipping. Uh, Where'd it go? There it is. Next up is this. Uh, it's a book, When Were You Built? by Ellen E. Hoxson. 
1948 hardcover, three bucks plus shipping. Next up, some more shorts. Well, and everything just fell. That's okay. You can't see it, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Next up, some uh, shorts from Pack Sun. These are uh, they're just Pack Sun shorts from Pack Sun. Um, they're kind of <laughs> I don't even know what to call this pattern. The blue stripe. That reminds me of like the uh, tents you see at the beach. <laughs> These uh, men's size large sold for fifteen dollars and ten cents. Obviously, took an offer. Fifteen dollars and ten cents plus shipping. Sold this Franklin pocket spelling ace um, right here. We got these in a lot from um, an auction that actually we didn't end up filming because much of the stuff we got was broken and didn't work. <laughs> so it wasn't it wasn't a good one. Um, and it was a small. There's like this and like maybe four other things. So um, Franklin spelling ace uh, sold for sold uh, sold for thirteen dollars fifty cents if I can speak plus shipping. Next up, we got a Puma shirt. Puma's starting to sell through, you know. It seems like um, we're getting one or two at least every other day. Uh, Puma t-shirt. Uh, the, what do they call this? The dry cell shirts. New with the tags. Men's size medium. Sold for $11.50. Plus shipping. Sold that Joe Cool t-shirt from uh, Sarah's Bin Strips. Or, well, our, uh, no, this was Sarah by herself, yeah. Sarah by herself. Uh, from Thursday's video. This is that kind of psychedelic Snoopy shirt. Um, pretty cool. Nine dollars plus shipping for Snoopy. Sold both of those peanut shirts already. So she was right. Everybody loves pe the peanuts. Sold this ripoff. Um, lost money on this one. This is a, a James Bond game. Uh, from Milton Bradley. It's the original. Um, if you guys ever see these out there. So they some of them are worth money but not this one so see this guy's face right here it's just kind of like a generic um agent's face um the ones that they actually just replaced this face with sean connery are actually worth decent money this one is not um twenty dollars plus shipping paid 24 at an estate sale um that estate sale company was you know they were i don't know i, I hate to say stuff like this but i'm going to because it's getting um, a little annoying, actually. Some state sale companies lately have been looking things up on eBay and then pricing things accordingly. Um, except they're not looking at sold comps. So if any of you out there run an estate sale, change, look at sold comps. Don't look at what people are asking for things. That's, that's the biggest pet peeve of any reseller is whenever you walk into a store or into a sale and someone's like, oh yeah, this sells for like $300 on eBay. And it's like, well, no, people are asking $300 for it. People are getting 120 So that was one of those sales. And I had asked to kind of come down in price on it. My fault, though, that I didn't notice it wasn't the Connery one and there was a difference in price from the Connery one to this one. So, you know, got the money back, but... You know, still, at the end of the day, after eBay fees, we're going to lose some money. But it is what it is. But if you run estate sales out there, you know, reach out to me privately and I will show you how to do it. Because just because people are asking a certain amount of money for them doesn't mean they're getting it. Next up is this. This is a Pottery Barn um, throw blanket. It's 50 by 60, neutral tan, brand new, never been opened. Uh, Pottery Barn stuff sells for big money. $88 for this blanket. That's right, I said $88 for a blanket. Next up, I had to do a little battery change there. Uh, next up is uh, some towels. These are vintage tea towels. You saw us get it from this uh, really massive estate sale haul we got. We're starting to sell through some of the stuff. I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> this is a big bunch of stuff and some of it's not selling. Um, vintage Dundee tan floral uh, bath towel. Flowers, new old stock, sold for twelve dollars plus shipping. Next up, we got this. Um, this is a really cool shirt. I actually like it. It's a Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Um, it's like a hockey, or not a hockey, but a, like a soccer style jersey. Brand new with the tags. Retailed for a hundred bucks. Sold it for forty-five plus shipping. You guys take a lot of offers. We take a lot of offers. We find that the vast majority of things that we sell. Are through offers <laughs> so uh, comment down below let me know what's what percentage you think uh, you guys do offers on um, 50 or probably about 50 50 50% I know 
either us sending offers or them sending us offers and then the rest of it's just people buying things like normal i wish people would just click buy but most people send offers it seems like uh next up this is a j crew men's size medium button down short sleeve shirt um kind of a floral blue pattern um no tags but pretty much like new 15 dollars for this plus shipping next up is a uh, purposely ripped shirt apparently um, this is called Tearwear. Tearwear. Vintage Tearwear. Check out that tag. Pretty cool. And it's like a, like a ripped shirt. That's <laughs> pretty much what it is. Um, my understanding is people wear these like uh, over bathing suits and such. Uh, $15 for the ripped 80s Tearwear. Plus shipping. Next up, we sold a Ingersoll Rand die grinder kit. Right here. Um, open it up so you guys can kind of see. It's pretty much never been used. Right there. So, uh, good money for this. Also, $50 plus shipping. Next up, uh, last one of these. We bought a bunch of these at a uh, uh, flea market last year. And this is the last one. Talcum powder. Um, Mavis talcum. Um, sold for 6 bucks plus shipping. But there's a bunch of 80s kids out here or 90s kids that had this CD. I did not. wasn't a fan. And I know who these guys are and songs that they sing. New Kids on the Block, self-titled CD right here. Found this at the bins. Thought, eh, somebody would buy that. So probably paid, I think they were 50 cents for CDs or something like that at the bins. Uh, $5 plus shipping here. Sold that skirt from the bins too. Um, Banana Republic skirt you saw me grab last week's video. It's a Banana Republic denim skirt. Uh, women's size six sold for fourteen dollars and fifty cents. Just a denim skirt, fourteen dollars and fifty cents plus shipping. Can't be tap when it comes to when you're paying dollars, for, you know, a buck for something from the bins works out. And last, famous and stars, st famous stars and straps. Is that really what it's called? Stars and straps. I guess so. Um, it's a big F looking logo. Um, Shirt, so, uh, men's size medium, so it's rare design, black skate, this is the name of the design, uh, $13 plus shipping for the shirt. Alright guys, that's it for this week, uh, good good week, we're very, very pleased, we're going to some yard sales this weekend, so hopefully we'll get some good footage and be able to put out a video about that, of course probably some more Goodwill bin stuff, because we really are trying to uh, get there a little more frequently now that it's been pretty good for us so throw out a couple of those videos and you know probably another random one here and there so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't I'm trying to make a pretty big push here in the next coming months um, with subscribers so if you haven't do me a real big favor and hit that subscribe button now's the time want to get to that thousand subscriber threshold we're planning a very big giveaway for that well not very big but big for us um, something a little bit better than a mystery box um, so uh, tomorrow I'm going to actually publish, I'm going to film it right after this, is a 700 subscriber giveaway. So subscribe to the channel, that way you guys know when that publishes tomorrow. Be, you know, your typical um, giveaway with a keyword to comment and so forth. Um, and that's it. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, check out that giveaway tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir!